morning everybody. We are traveling down I-29 southbound between Grand Forks and Fargo right now. I, I think we're coming close. Yeah, we're almost at Fargo. On our way down to Franklin, Indiana. A load of lumber. Somebody down there wants some sticks. Some Canadian sticks. I picked them up in Kenora, Ontario. I had to go around a little bit and cross at Pembina, North Dakota just because I forgot my fuel cards at home this trip and I had to swing by there and pick them up. It gets pretty expensive paying for all your fuel up front. First of all, you don't get as good of a rate as you do with a fleet card. And second of all, you burn through about $1,000 every couple of days. And seeing as I'm probably going to be gone for about a week and a half to two weeks, that's quite a bit of money. Last month I burnt just under $7,200 of fuel. $7,200 Canadian, so for you Americans, probably about $6,500 to $6,000 of fuel. One month. It was the first month with our lovely carbon tax as well, so I believe a few hundred dollars of that did not need to be spent or did not need to be stolen from me, let's say that. I would have had, oh, what was the math again? $300, $400 extra in my bank account right now if it wasn't for that. And, uh, what do you know, I'm still burning the same amount of fuel, still polluting just as much, it's just I have less money to feed my family now, that's, that's all that's going on. But that's not what this vlog is about. This vlog is about our journey down to Indiana. I'm gonna have to pull over here. My wiper, on the passenger side there, I know you can't really see it, it's not in the shot. The rubber is slipping out of it, that's weird. I've never had that happen before. I'm gonna pull over and fix that. Can you see what I mean there? It's supposed to be there. It's there. And it's hanging over the edge over there. I gotta go slide it back. Oh, I'm tired today. Tired, tired. I could really use a nap. But this freight ain't gonna deliver itself. Gotta keep going. Maybe we'll have a nap a little later, but gotta get a little further first. If I'm gonna take a nap, I wanna use it as my half hour break, and that's gotta be closer to the center of my day. We just stopped at the rest area uh, in Moorhead, Minnesota, which is Fargo, North Dakota. We're now on Interstate 94, uh, eastbound. We've got to get as far as we can tonight yet. Continue 251 kilometers. I'm probably going to stop for a nap later on. I don't know what. I guess I didn't sleep that well last night. Man. We'll figure it out. I'm feeling all right. I'm so 
done with winter. I just want to pull over and just park. I wish I could. Man, I wish I could. This just really upsets me. Not only are we having fourth winter, I'm also driving into a pretty strong wind that's coming out of the north, northeast. And I can hardly get any momentum going in such a strong wind. What a terrible day. What a terrible day. Not cool at all. Well, thank God that didn't last very long. It lasted from about Alexandria to Clearwater, Minnesota. So we're now just going around Minneapolis here and the weather seems to be cooperating a little more. It's still raining, but that's okay. I'll take the rain. That's what the windshield wipers are for and I work indoors, so it doesn't bother me. Which would be really nice if summer would arrive already and just stick around. If we can just stop the calendar, end of June, maybe around the summer solstice, that'd be great. Well, just spent $775 on diesel fuel, but we have an empty trailer. We made it through all that storm. The storm only lasted until about Minneapolis, and after that it was fine. Nothing to really worry about. It's just about maybe an hour or two of snow, and now we're down here in Indiana, in Whiteland, Indiana. I'm surprised they didn't have to change the name of this town right here. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna end the vlog here. Uh, we did get down to our delivery. This is the next day. I've got to start tomorrow's vlog for you, and I hope you tune in for that. But uh, yeah, it was a good day, and it's hot down here in Indiana and humid, and I love it, and I miss it so much. I miss coming down south. This isn't even the south yet. I haven't crossed what are they called? The Mason Dixon line, the Dixie line, Dixie line. I haven't gone to the south in what, almost two years. It feels like. Like in the truck, I miss it a lot. I'm gonna start nagging them a little bit for loads going down there. We don't have a lot of contracts on flatbeds going down to the south. Our dry van division's down in Georgia all the time. I used to always be down there. My dad still always goes down there. And I'm sort of stuck up here, which is fine in the summertime, but oh well. Thanks for watching today. Everything went successful. Oh, it was a bit of a rush, but we made it. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.